Now look, I've been called many things. One thing I always am is a gooner. Check it out. This is the goon. This the disc joke is okay. So this joke is about how um, the term gooning is used as a sort of. You know the problem is that this room, this room is where the comfy is. This is the comfiest room in the arguably, in my opinion, the world. This is this room is my world. This room is my constructed universe, and it's constructed to be my back to tank. This thing's gonna come out the back to tank like Luke Skywalker at a, at a maximum power level. And that doesn't seem like a problem, but it's not what's in the room that's the problem. It's what's not in the room that's the problem. You see, what's not in the room is in the room is this. This is not in the room. This is in the other room. But this is where gaming happens. And I love gaming. Okay? I'm the world's number one Dust Bowl demon. So the thing about this clip, right? Hold on. This clip, right? So I hit this air shot, nutty air shot, right? Hold on. Okay, okay. So the demo, the demo comes bombing in. There's my my pipe. The perfect collision, right, with the hundred damage. Now the thing is that I've trapped the point. I've actually trapped the point. So here I am, flinging him. Okay, let me slow it down even more, right? Flinging him over to the point. He lands up there. Now my trap is on the point, but he is over there. Now, I think the air shot was cool on its own, but just hitting one air shot does not a clip make, okay? You kind of got to get a kill rather than just hit, just hit someone once, right? If I, you see there, I dead. Here's, I have one sticky over here for some God knows why reason, and then all my other stickies are on the point. And I do 66 damage to him. So now, what well, demo has 175 health. Um, I can't do the math, hold on. So I did 66 damage to him. The, the, the pipe did 100, meaning he should have 6 HP right now. He should be on 6 health. Now, if, if you notice the way he's moving, He's walking towards the point. So if I had debted now instead of then, I probably would have done the extra six damage and gotten the kill, which would have been a much better clip. But instead, the sentry finishes him off. Right, I spend all my life on Dust Bowl, and I game on Dust Bowl for 12 hours straight every day of my life. And so if I'm not the Dust Bowl demon, I'm not the god and the lord of Dust Bowl, then I'm not nothing, okay? So if I can't be Dust Bowl Gaming in the room, I have to be Dust Bowl Gaming in this room. Now this room, there's nothing wrong with this room, but it's not my room. It's the kitchen, you know, and it's full of shit, right? Nonsense, food stuff. We don't want that, right? And there's another problem with this room, which is not a problem of what the room doesn't have. It's a problem of what the room has. I'll tell you what this room has. It's got moths. It's got moths, the little bugs, you know, you heard of them? Moths, it's got moths in it. It's got a moth, a, a moth infestation. Look, you can see one right over there. My question is, am I... Is there something deeply wrong with me? This is 
Kinkoi, aka Kiniro Lavorici, which is a visual novel that I, I enjoyed this visual novel. And I say enjoyed, because I'm not sure if you can see this, but it says I have 63.7 hours in this in this game. And that's why I purchased this game for real money on Steam, okay? Now, according to VNDB, this game is long, and long means it should take 45 hours to finish. Okay, so I have 63.7 hours, and yet I still have two more routes to go, or to be more precise, I have one more main route and one more side route to go. And to be honest with you, it's a good game. It's a good Edo game. I enjoy it. But I don't enjoy it enough to invest another 30 or so hours into it. I don't know if it would actually be 30 hours, but there's a level by which you can enjoy something, but it can overstay its welcome. It can just be like, I want to keep enjoying this, but I've, I've moved on to other things in my life. But according to VNDB's 160-something votes, this game should only take 45 hours to complete. And now I'm stuck here wondering, is there something wrong with me? Because I've been told since I was a child that I am a fast reader. And I feel like I'm a fast reader, because when I read this visual novel, or any visual novel, I read much faster than the dialogue, uh, you know, voice acted recordings speak. Okay, I, I rarely get to hear a character finish a line. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who play visual novels by just setting it to auto mode and watching it like an anime. And somehow those people are finishing the fucking game in 45 hours, and yet here I am, almost twice as long- Okay, that's maybe an exaggeration, but, you know, a long, long ass time! I'm not- I'm, is there something wrong with me? Is there something like- I don't- I, I no longer want to finish this fucking visual novel. Because it's just taken so long. And I put those 63 hours in, like, months ago, and have fallen off for the past three months playing this. And I thought I would finish it when I got back from Estonia. But honestly, when I open the game, when I do this and I open the game, what I feel in my heart, I feel a sense of contempt. I feel aggressive towards towards Hinkoi Golden Love Rich, as it's called in English. Because I feel like I am owed an ending. Like I should have finished this thing by now, and I haven't. And that annoys me. But then I go over here to Counter-Strike, and you see that I have 3,086 hours in this game, which is a lie, because I actually have about one hour in Counter-Strike 2. Okay, all of these hours are in CSGO, a game that no longer fucking exists. And you go over Team Fortress 2, and it says I have 1,175.9 hours. Uh, now that is correct. And then you go over to Half-Life, and it says I have 84.9 hours in that game. Right, and I've beaten this game like five fucking times, okay? Now, one of those times was not on the Steam version, but still, I mean, come on. How long can you expect me to, to read your bullshit story? Because look, I like this game, but the Akane route, I don't want to sit through the Akane route. I just don't. The Akane route is boring and lame because she's a side heroine whose entire character is that she's boring and lame and I don't care. And I don't, I don't want to sit through her fucking shit for 10 hours to get to the radio route, which is the only thing I ever played the game for in the first fucking place. But you don't unlock it until you- I hate games that do this. I hate games that don't let you progress until you've finished the previous routes. Just let me play all the routes from the beginning so I don't have to play the stupid side heroines that suck, okay? You see, the thing is, these are the real degenerates. These are my fucking people, okay? These are the motherfuckers that are playing Dust Bowl on an EU server, and it's like, it's like six in the morning, almost six. These are the real degenerates. These are my people. Let's say that hypothetically I wanted to read this visual novel in this room. And let's also say that hypothetically I didn't want to pay £41.99 for a fucking slideshow. Now, I don't know what this is, I don't know what file's being downloaded here, but let's say it's gonna take an hour. Then I would have to plug in this uh, external hard drive and copy some mysterious file over to it. Who knows what file this is? It could be anything. I don't know what it is, but I'd have to copy it over anyway. It could be a, and it could be a, 
It could be any file. It could be any. It could be any file. And then somehow it's copying 8.8 .8 gigabytes of 7.4 gigabytes. Explain how that makes any fucking sense. Oh, and also, I don't know if you've noticed this, but it has. 16 trillion hours remain. You might be wondering. You might be wondering why I can't just play it on this computer. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but it, it, this is my CPU temperature: 89, 90. Okay, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here before it's too late. I can't show too much of it because these Japanese motherfuckers they'll copyright strike you for anything. Okay, but now, okay. So the next step would be to take this and uh, then we got to plug this into this. You never get the right way around the first try around. Then you gotta do this. It says it's gonna take one minute. We all know it's gonna take more than one minute because last time it said it would take until the heat death of the universe. And then you gotta go through this whole fucking kerfuffle, which for some reason, they won't just let you use your normal file browser. You have to use the, the Steam file browser and, uh, and go through this whole fucking thing. And then you can launch this, which is obviously the copy of rewrite that I actually purchased on this computer legally. Okay, and then now we've got this going. Now, now we gotta open up Steam library, and then we gotta find that, and then stream, and now we can play the fucking game. Okay, good. Except, of course, this doesn't actually work because you, you plug your headphones in and realize you don't actually have any audio. So now you gotta head over to the desktop and see if there's actually audio over here. And as you can see, just to prove, I bought the game. It's in my, uh, it's in, it's in the Steam. Then you close and you relaunch the game with a different version of Proton. And now there's sound on the desktop. So when you come in here, you can plug in your headphones and you can actually get what And I only have to run at a cool 60 degrees C on the main menu. I simply refuse to go outside. I have some copy to check against the original. Come in here and help me. I would prefer not to.